So here we are again. We've got a great road for culture in the span of just a couple of days. Went from uh, only maybe 150 per mil or so uh, up to well over a thousand per milliliter at this point. The foam that you can see here is foam that we often describe as hungry foam and it's not very tenacious. It breaks down very easy when you touch it and you can often see flocculent material that's accumulated on the sides of the tank um, and up around the perimeter, sometimes in uh, the foam itself right on the top of it. And so the proper procedure at this point uh, would be to uh, remove the floss, which I'll do. And you can sort of lift it up and I prefer to let this drain out um, almost entirely. There are, of course, going to be some rotifers attached to the foam and in this liquid that's draining out. But it's a very small amount, and very often these are not live or living or healthy rotifers. And the idea at this point is simply to wash the floss out so that we can make room for more waste to be trapped in the floss. It doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to be totally clean. The idea simply is to make sure that the filter material itself has room to trap more material, more waste, more flocculent material, more dead rotifers, etc. And really we consider any lost uneaten food or any lost rotifers um, that are in the floss of a reasonably strong culture uh, just to be sort of collateral damage. So this is perfectly fine. I'm just using uh, mains or tap water. You can use RO water. I don't advise using hot water or using a detergent or a cleaner because this filter actually begins to develop its own um, bacterial culture. And what we end up with is a biofilter component to our rotifers. And when you use a clear, crystal clear kind of vessel to sample your rotifers, you can get an idea of what the culture looks like. And what I like to see is something that is, has a good optical clarity. Now there are a lot of rotifers in this container right now. I'm gonna swivel this lamp around. And all of that that you see suspended in the water is rotifers. At this point, even though there's some color to the water, these are hungry rotifers. Like I said, we've got a hungry foam here. And I verified it by looking at the color of the rotifers, and they don't have much in their gut. Otherwise, they would be much darker in color. So it's time to feed, and that feeding is to be based on how many millions of rotifers I want to collect today um, for my harvest or for the next day, how big my culture vessel is and what percentage of that is uh, going to be harvested. And the feed rate um, is something that I can provide some additional information on uh, as long as you know those other parameters.